Hey guys, thanks for joining the Love March movement. Another Wednesday, 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. as we fast and pray and go hard before the Lord in prayer and supplication because we believe in a breakthrough for this nation. The Love March movement is an organization that dedica is dedicated to defending sexual purity and the family. Very important. Two, two very important things. So, in this edition of our fasting video, we're going to just start three points, three people. But before we go into that, I just want to give you a scripture. Hebrews 12 verse 2. So it says, let me get this up quick. That looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. Can you believe that? For our joy, he took on our guilt, he took on our shame, took on our sin. And even though he despised the sin, he loved us more than the sin. It's pretty intense stuff. And he, he laid it all on the cross. He put it all on the cross where he died. But he didn't just die. He resurrect. He got up. He was resurrected. And through him, we have life and have life more abundantly. And Jesus is sitting on the throne of God, waiting one day to come back for us yet again. So... Our three points, we're just going to get into this really, really quick. Not even wasting any time. Our three points. Point number one is that the burglar will remain. Yes, we have to depend on the burglar again. Because the enemy is trying to attack this law. The devil and, and the principalities are trying to lead us on a path of death and destruction by wanting us to repeal the law for removing the law. But we know that. Jesus Christ was the ultimate sacrifice. Jesus, through Jesus Christ, He overthrew death. He overthrew sin. He overthrew the grave. So we don't have to go along a path of destruction if Christ had already removed this. So when He died, He gave us life. So in life, we have to choose the right path. So guys, let's keep the buggy law. Let's keep family friendly laws. Because this is a law that was governed to protect God's people and our people with God's interest at heart. Right. That's point number one. Point number two. I'm going to pray that as Christians that we will fully receive and accept the salvation and the redemption and freedom that was brought by Jesus Christ when he died and shed his blood for us. A lot of times we go into this thinking that Oh, my, my, my sins were higher than the mountain and it, it, it's, it's basically impossible for God know that nothing is impossible for God nothing if he can get up after three days by being buried there's really nothing impossible for him to do and we have to realize that no matter how deeply we sin no matter how badly we sin Jesus Christ can forgive us of our sins forgive us of our sexual immorality or sexual impurities and cleanse us from all unrighteousness so as christians let's walk in this light let's walk in this redemption let's walk in this freedom because when he died we were made free remember that and point number three we want to pray for those among us who have not yet received this special gift the gift of salvation it is so important that you need to receive this gift because with, with this gift you gain freedom you no longer be bound to sexual sins you no longer be bound to sin at all and just there's a special scripture that says that a fool says in his heart that god does not exist paraphrasing of course don't be a fool on april fool's day but i'll forget that though no april fool's day is coming up so for those of us who have not received this gift, don't be don't be a fool on April Fool's Day. Accept the gift of God. Accept it. It's free. And you too can be made free indeed. So, three points. Got that. Now it's gonna get address our three people. First person I wanna pray for, I wanna pray that the Honorable Portia Simpson Miller 
she would not bow to the New York protesters. I know we know she came under fire recently. And we pray that she won't bow to the protesters. She won't bow to Mr. Tomlinson, Maurice Tomlinson, and she won't she won't bow to even President Obama. That she will stand her ground and that she will speak with godly principles and things inspired by the Holy Spirit, inspired by God, inspired by Jesus. That she will defend the cause of God's people. Alright, I pray for her. Secondly, we want to pray for Dane Lewis. He, he continuously wants the burglary law to be repealed, but we, prepare, we pray for the renewing of his mind and that Jesus will impart to him the knowledge and impart him the revelation that this law needs to stand because it serves as a protection, as a hedge for my people and that his mindset in trying to repeal the law will shift. We also want to pray for Maurice Tomlinson that he will receive the gift of salvation and that he will stop suing all these nations. It's pretty interesting stuff. So, three points. Hope you remember them. Three people. Three, 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 three. So, guys, please support us. Like the video, share the video, view the video, watch the video. Support the Love March movement as we go hard before God each and every Wednesday. 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. in prayer and supplication towards him as we believe in a bright Jamaica a brighter Jamaica and we want to add value you add value to yourselves to your family and to your country God bless you